Oh, what a slab. What a slab. Beautiful. Beautiful slab. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Hey, guys, gals. How y'all doing today? It's raining pretty good outside. I was going to make this video outside, but uh, it's raining pretty heavy. We was going to go fishing yesterday. As a matter of fact, we left three hours of driving. I uh, did some research on some trout streams and stuff, and we went up there. When I got there, the gate was closed where you go in. And I called the guy, and the guy told me, which I'm not going to mention the name of it, but always call before you go, I guess, even though it says open at 10. Uh, I called him up, and he says, no, we're closed. I said, well, it says on the Internet you're open. He'd updated it two weeks ago. And he turned around and says, well, don't believe everything you, you read on the Internet. But your business says you're open, and you updated it. I was kind of lost on that one, but, well, it is what it is. If I'd have known that, I'd have went to the river or the lake again. But, anyway, what we got here is I ordered some knives. And, you know, I'm the Timu man. I ordered some knives from Timu. They're hunting knives bushcraft hunting camping knives so what we want to do is we're just going to go over a few things to wait like we did in the other videos and i've got some uh i'm gonna do some overnighters deep in the blue ridge mountains i'm hoping y'all like those camping trips and i'm gonna do some cooking and we're gonna cook on the rocks over the fire everything's gonna be outside uh cooking easy some simple things some things will be unique you know, I went uh, back to Iraq the last time as a civilian contractor, and I was a, uh, a sous chef over there. So, you know, I've got a lot of cooking experience and the camping and stuff. We're going to set up some shelter halves and stuff to start with. We've got some different tents, just different things to review in a good time out in nature, right? Plenty of military years to go with some of this, so... We'll see if we can teach a little bit and learn as we go. These knives really don't have names. Uh, this this first one here, we'll hold it. I'll show. Let's see if you know, can see that pretty good. It's got two places back here. You can go with your belt loop right through the middle over your belt. You can take this spot and this spot. It comes with two nice, thick, very thick straps that go around your legs. Very thick knife, solid. We're gonna take them all and we're gonna split wood for the campfire with these. So you'll see me in the camping trips, making sure I can get the thing, there we go. In the camping trips, right? Uh, let's see in this one, there go. On the sheath, the case, right there, it's got a knife sharpener to sharpen it. comes undone you run your knife through there to sharpen and I thought that is really nice these two straps undoes it it comes off right you can strap that to the leg this it's nice very heavy let's see what the case weighs the case is 0 0.405 the knife 0 0.690 so together with the straps total weight of the whole thing is 1.33 pound. The knife blade on this is five inches. The handle is five and a half. So that's going to give you 10 and a half inches worth of knife. Look at the thickness once again. We're going to take them all. We're going to beat that. And what my, my goal is, is to split wood with it 
then to turn around and use it as a bushcraft knife for cutting meat or whatever. That knife right there is $34.98. Double snap system up top. Everything's heavy duty. Heavy duty snaps. Good solid plastic, hard case. Thickness is, is great. Snap on the back. I mean, just the thickness of it. I mean, this is a good knife for $34.98. I got that off of Timu. Turn it to the side again. That's knife one. Okay. Good, solid knife. I, it's going to be a real nice one. Okay. Knife two. <clears throat> this plastic's a little thinner. You've got this on the side. You do that. Put your belt in there. Snap it back or run it through and snap it. You hear that click? That locks in. Thickness of this is good. The screw, the handle, I would, I would watch this, right? It's got uh, three flathead like screws with the Allen wrench on the other side, hold it all together. Of course, you can put your little cord in there, paracord, whatever. I see the knife tip on this one, square. At an angle, not square. Making sure y'all can see the name. That knife weighs 0.56. The case is 0.205. Together, it's 0 0.770. Very heavy. That's a more lowering. Melarine, melarine, right? The blade on it from tip to handle. Five and a half inches and four and a half. It's gonna give us a total of 10 inches for this knife. Very heavy. The end of it, you can see the little bit different. It's thinner than the other one. This one here is $24.95. Got this right here, it grips, really good grip. And snaps. That keeps you from just knocking it out when you're going through the, the wilderness, the woods, whatever you're doing. Just snap it in. The other one snapped too, though. So, uh, like I said, that one's $24.95. I, I like that one also. This one here, green case it's got two screws always worry about the screws these are like sort of like a hollow rivet eyelet push that open it up y'all see inside there my light might be I'm trying to make sure my light's good belt snap click same thing hard plastic you can see the knife on that one. Very thick for a maul right there. The plastic's really hard. The same thing with the screws. Got a little strap. As the other knife, the screws. Flatheads. This is flathead on both sides. Uh, the case is .220. The knife is 0 .605, combined 0 .825, lighter than the first, a little heavier than the second. That knife right there, I like it. I, I like them all. This one, like I said, was 24.95. Snap it right in. 
pull it out. Let's get a measurement on that blade. Five and a half. Handles five. Total ten and a half. Very thick. See how thick that is? Very thick. Snaps right in. And the last one is <clears throat> 28.48's the price on it. Nice color. Make sure I get the whole knife in there. Good button strap. The other one didn't have a strap around the handle at all. Button strap right here is a ferrule rod for starting fires. We'll get, show it a little different here in a second. This one don't snap. Look at the blade on that. This is a DC-53. You see how this blade is right here? That's for your ferrule rod. Go down your ferrule rod. Can y'all see that spark? Yep. That's for starting your fires. Good snap. And once you do that, wipes right off. That is a falcon. Oh, there. Same as the other ones. Very heavy, very thick. Good and flat up here. You've got your strike point, but you can take a maul and split that wood, start your fire, and cut your meat, food, paracord for whatever you're doing. This knife here's all all in one. Everything thick. This one here is leather. Leather case. Little like eagle on it. The case weighs 0.175 pounds. The knife is 0 0.70 combined. 0 0.880. I believe that was heavier than the first one. Let's get us a measurement. The blade is six inches. The handle's five. Total of 11 inches, guys. This is 2848. Sewed all the way around. And look at the thickness of the sheath. The case. Heavy duty snap around the handle. Some of them are going to take a little wear. Put a little. Snaps in. Very nice. This one here. Uh, of course, uh, the other ones probably do a ferro rod too. I'd have to take this, pull this first one back out for a second. You can do a ferrule rod with any of them. This one don't snap in like the other two snaps. I've got two that snap in, two that don't. Now, guys, if y'all are interested in these knives, I've got a code in the description below. You can take and uh, use the code. If you've got the app downloaded, you can uninstall the app, wait a day, reinstall it you can take these knives and get 30 percent off additional by using my code right if y'all do use the code it helps the channel out that's what it's set up for but that will uh get you 30 percent off like i said just uninstall it reinstall it put the code in below and get 30 additional percent that knock is, let's say, uh, 30 cents off a dollar. That'd be, 
This knife here be 2848 at 30% would be what? Three, six, eight dollars off. You would get this knife. And we're going to say $21 for this knife. I'll go somewhere and get a knife that feels this heavy duty. And I'm sure it's going to stand up to the test for that price. That's the knives. Uh, one more thing I'll show y'all just to go with this since I've been doing my camping stuff. I bought a one and a half pound, four inch head, 17 inch American hickory handle from Valley. Guys, I know it says American hickory, but this comes from overseas. This, this one wasn't off of Timu. I got it off actually went through eBay. Polished head right for busting and splitting wood on these camping trips we're gonna do it all we're gonna make a, like a little mountain man thing mountain man movie i guess we'll say kind of short but i think i can get used to it it's good and sturdy the handle look at there the wedges holding that handle in and epoxied in at the same time just wanted y'all to sort of see the little things that I'm doing. And uh, I've got some old lanterns from the 1940, but I decided to buy. I got three of these. These are the uh, railroad lantern, 11 inch tall lanterns, right? We'll put kerosene in them. We use kerosene and uh, light them up around the campfire. In the afternoon when we're sitting there, maybe telling our old army war stories from all the years I was in there. But the ideal here is to get outside, to get in the woods, take a kid fishing. That's the motto of the channel. We're still going to be doing a lot of fishing, but we're going to also incorporate all this stuff here. But take a kid outdoors. As long as you got the kid not in front of the TV at the house, it's only better for him. Y'all know that just as much as I do take yourself outside it's good for you it's good stress relief like i said i want to do some uh, wild game cooking over the fire over a rock i'm gonna do some hamburgers on a rock simple things and then we'll build up to some other things uh i believe y'all enjoy it it's an outdoor channel the fishing oh, i tell you what i can use a break on the weather uh you know, I went back to five days a week for y'all that didn't catch it before. Uh, so that leaves me Mondays and Tuesdays to do what I got to do. My mom's been having some problems. Uh, a lot of things going on there. She, she's a pretty old now. We got to take care of that and uh, square that away and my wife away. And then those days are when we're going to do the stuff. But to get out, do some camping. I want to take catch the fish. So I guess it'll be uh, catch and cook videos over in the, the fire on a hot plate. We're going to do some Dutch oven. I'll show y'all how to make bread. Just different things. Uh, I'm going to take all those years of cooking as a civilian contractor for, I worked with KBR and Hal Burton in Iraq. I was at uh, D8 Camp Loyalty for a long time. I did all the cooking down there. Well, I didn't do the cooking. I told everybody else what to do. Uh, take all that, all my military years. I did buy some uh, military shelter halves and some other things, which y'all see that in the camping videos. So if we get rained out and we can't fish, we go camp in the rain. That way we keep videos coming constantly. You know? Entertainment, you know, it's just out for entertainment, relaxation for everybody, guys. Uh, the winner of the video was on the last, or uh, not the winner of the video, the winner of the fishing reel was on the last video. <clears throat> He'd went in there nine times. Uh, I have mixed things, logged in just a bunch of different names, listed it, and then sent me a email instead of sending the reel to send money to his PayPal account. Guys, I will not do that. The way the one went before, we'll contact somebody. They'll contact me back. We'll get a good address. 
and we'll go from there. It's just you don't want to give up your bank information nowadays that way or swap certain things, I don't think. Uh, that's not why we did the channel or why we do giveaways. And and I really don't like it if they're going to cheat and do eight or nine different times and everybody else does one time. That's why we've got specific little things like take a kid fishing or things like that so people understand and I know it's not a robot and you don't have people doing that and he was from somewhere I couldn't even read the address or nothing that he sent me to mail it I couldn't even write it out on the paper but that's just jibber jabber just letting y'all know I like to keep y'all updated on stuff like that guys the motto take a kid fishing let's get a kid outdoors Weather's fixing to break. Uh, we've had this last little cold weather here in Virginia, but I'm looking forward to going deep into Blue Ridge Mountains and starting a fire with some ferro rods and not using matches or lighters. I do have some more stuff. I'll probably do another video here on some camping gear and stuff uh, that I ordered. Uh, I'll do a video on that. Of course, it was a Timu order. Things that you can use for camping, different things you get pretty cheap. So keep on the lookout for that. Guys, if y'all like the video, give me a thumbs up. Like the video. Share it out if you would. Tell other people about the channel. Uh, man, I appreciate everything y'all do. The comments, the, the likes. Uh, the channel's growing. That's what we want. I've just got to get my rear end in gear and get some fish on the video. It's hard to make a fishing video if you ain't got fish. All right, guys, if y'all doing great fishing somewhere else, leave a comment below and let me know. Let me know what y'all think about these knives. Which one's your favorite? Uh, hey, if you go out there and buy them, tell me, hey, I'm going to go out there and I'm going to buy that one. But you will see me beat on these when I do my camping videos the bushcraft stuff all right guys until the next video y'all keep the lines tight and take a kid fishing we'll see y'all later